Well, hello, my YouTube friends. Uh, so I went to the coin shop today and I asked them how much they would buy this coin from anyone who walked in the front door and said, I want to sell this coin. And so they looked at it. It's the Carson City. Right? You can judge yourself, it, the condition of it. Right, whatever the condition is, I don't know. It's, and uh, so we looked at it, got a book out, and he said, "Well, we'd sell it for this amount, but we'd buy it for a hundred, a hundred easy, you know, maybe a hundred ten on a good day at the most." And I said, "Okay, I need to know that," and I explained my cash or silver series. And I needed to know how much they would buy this for so that when it, I could use it in the series. Because I want the, the person that I offer it to, if they know what it is, if they recognize it, I want them to say, oh, and, you know, to snap it up immediately, to say, oh, yeah, heck yeah. Right? Like, so... If they can only get a hundred bucks for it, or if they can get a hundred bucks for it, then like the biggest bill I can ask them to pay, or the most that I would ask them to pay for it, would be thirty dollars. Because I want the person, if they recognize it, to know or to think to themselves, I want them to know it's like a, such a great deal that they just say, heck yeah, and snap it up immediately. So let's say if my bill is 30 bucks, and they pay me $30 for this, and then they go over to the coin shop, and the coin shop says, okay, we'll buy it for 100 So they made a $70 profit, and then you subtract like their gasoline and their time of going to the coin shop, you know, whatever that's worth to them, 10 bucks or something, they made a $60 profit, so $30 investment, $60 profit, 200% return. I want it to be just so obvious or such a no-brainer that if they recognize it, they immediately snap it up. Like, for example, and I asked them how much they buy these back for. And, uh, and they checked with one of the other guys and said, we buy those back or we buy those for... Um, spot minus a dollar fifty, and it didn't matter to me. Like okay, whatever. I just need to know exactly how much it's worth to any person that walks in the door and says, "I want to sell this." That way, I can know whether the whether to offer the the cashier a hundred gram or a fifty gram. Right, how big a bill I can expect them to pay and still double their money. Right? I want it to to just be like a, a no-brainer, automatic, just snap it up instantly if they recognize it. If they don't recognize it, then they'll just take the cash and I'll keep the silver. I want to keep the silver. Right? I don't want to give this or I don't want to sell this 50 gram bar for a $19 meal. Okay, I don't want to sell a 100 gram bar for $30 worth of sandwiches. But I, as I said, I want the person, if he or she recognizes what it is, to immediately go for it. And so far that hasn't happened. Um, but that's what I'm doing. That's the purpose of my, uh, my little experiment to find out if you can really buy anything if silver really is worth anything or not um so uh, i hope that clarifies things and everyone understands what i'm doing um, i won't be able to produce too many of these you know i'll try to do it as it you know as it seems convenient um, because you know fast food is way too expensive these days and there is a chance that I give away $90 worth of silver for 30 bucks. Okay, and I'm not trying to do that.
Yeah. All right, my friends, you have a good day.